with a five point five points in trouble let's take a look at a couple of the highlights here we're going to start off with strickland this guy was canning it from all over he's got the nice touch he was looking good and he was giving kb some trouble early Carol Boone also doing it from the outside. You know, for a team that started, started very slowly, Nebraska eventually picking it up. Dominic Young also doing it on defense. This guy controlled it early. Big Mac inside looking so tough. And then Dominic doing it from outside. You know, he and Kendrick Brooks are the top three-point combo in the country, and that one of the reasons. And little Mikey Moore doing some major damage. Looking tough. And we are back live at Selen Arena. You see someone with a very nice park balloon or something like that. Folks, take it away. We're having a good time. Back to you. Tradition. De Chico's was founded on it. Since 1956, we've been serving the finest in Italian food, made fresh daily for your family. We do this with a strong sense of pride and a desire to make your dining experience the best you've ever had. You see, did you... A little bit of a surprise after the dogs took that big lead, but 45-40, the dogs trailing at the half then. Kind of a, kind of a little surprise, though, after the way the dogs started with the tenacious defense, the turnovers, everything was going their way. Yeah, certainly a big surprise uh, if you're a Fresno State fan, because I thought Fresno had control of this game, and you have to give Nebraska credit. They came back, they played defense, they created some turnovers, and they got themselves right in the lead and back in the ball game. There's your halftime stats. Uh, Huskers were uh, 16 for 29, the Bulldogs 14 for 38, and shooting 37% to, look, look, Nebraska just caught fire. Let's take a look at our point leaders. Uh, oh, there it is, Badgett. We called his name an awful lot. He, he caught fire down the stretch. Dominic Young still pouring in 14. All right, that's going to do it for halftime. We'll be back from Sewan Arena with so much more in the second half. Coming up. Fresno Sheriff Steve McGarrion is being forced to release prisoners against his will. In the past three years, federal courts forced Sheriff McGarrion to release nearly 5,000 jail inmates to prevent over... It was another tart tongue lash. He said they played great defense the first 12 minutes, then the offense just went in the tank. He was telling them to work on their passing game. He ran cut plays and everything. If they weren't listening to him, it's going to be very interesting to see what the Bulldogs come. They're used to hearing about these tart tongue lashes at halftime, so we'll see how their character happens in the second half. All right, Mike. You know... The one magical thing about Jerry Tarkanian, and there's so many magical things, Dan, is that he's able to create something, some kind of atmosphere that these guys respond after half. Well, he's going to have to do it in this game because I think the one thing that disturbed Jerry is you've got the lead and you're controlling the tempo. You keep relying on the perimeter shot. You don't go back inside. And let's face it, when you shoot 7 out of 16 from the foul line, I mean, you, you've got some big problems. Yeah, they, they missed 11 of their last 13 shots in the first half, so hopefully the rest off the court is to their liking. Lou is back at the point. Let's see if he starts better this time. Bernard Garner working inside. That's a nice move off glass. No good, though. with Nebraska. KB, nice move inside. The running one-hander is good. Well, we, we, you know, you really thought getting off to a good start. That's nine for Brooks. Going to give him a little lift, put some confidence. Gerard Boone moving inside to Mikey Moore. Nice little turnaround. The yeah, big guy nice. can move. Yeah, the big guy's impressive. Not nice turnaround, Jay, inside. Moore's got nine. Very solid game. Good shot blocker. Big Mac now trying to operate down low. He kicks it out, though. Dogs will reset. Yeah, I think Mac has to take that one in occasionally, Orrin. I mean, even when you're playing against a good shot blocker, take it strong to him, force him to defend, because you'll try to block it, and he may pick up some fouls. Here's the other big guy, Karee, off glass, drawing a little foul. There's a big difference with Karee Stanley, start of the year to now. What did he do at the beginning of the year? He shot a fadeaway. What is he doing now? He's taking it right to the rack and forcing guys to defend him, and that is a real plus for his team and for him personally. You know, Dan, Jerry Tarkanian and many coaches have talked about 
Rashawn Smith and his possible NBA potential. You look at a body like Tariq Stanley. This guy steps it up. You see some potential? Yeah, there definitely is some potential. Big and strong, a good touch. Did not shoot that free throw especially well, but has to continue to get better. But has had a fairly productive year. He may get, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna get a, another attempt. Mikey Moore may have stepped in there a little soon, so. Dogs will take that right now. Yeah, Kareem's got a chance for a hat trick. Let's hope he doesn't get that. I mean, let's hope he can get one of them down. Seven out of 16 was the free throw shooting in the first half, so now seven of 18 from the line for Fresno State. Seven of 19. Can you say horrendous? That's been the ball game. I mean, yeah. you, can, you can just sum it up right there. Seven of 19 from the line. Boone kicks it out to Lou. He's gonna reset. Lou working the spin move on Dominic, but can't go. Fast break oh. opportunity. Here's Gumby. Not played. Looking for the foul, not getting anything. Strickland, the behind the back pass to Mikey Moore, drawing the foul. Nice pass. It. Officials letting them go. Yeah. I mean, the, the officials putting the whistle in the pocket. Here's Strickland. Look at the pass inside to Mikey Moore. And the shot and the strong attempt at the block by Kareem Stanley. As I had three and a free, he only played five minutes in the first half. So that's the fourth foul on Stanley, and he goes out. A big, that's been a big problem for the dogs. They haven't had Stanley but five or six minutes in this game. Fourth personal, you see Kareem Stanley taking a seat. Meanwhile, on the other side, Mikey Moore sinking another. And conversely, as I recall, Nebraska was 7 of 8 from the line in the first half, and they start out with... So Nebraska's 8 of 9 from the line, Fresno 7 of 19. They're so, doing all the easy things right. And right now, that's the ball game, as you said. Nice touch. Dominic all the way! Very nice! Yeah, I like that. Dominic oh. Young using the dribble to break it down and take it right at the big guy. So many times, he'll pull up, showing a little penetration there. Boy, Mikey Moore wants the ball, Lauren. Look, look, look at him calling for the ball. Uh, he feels like he oh, can yeah. score. He's got the confidence now. Oh, boom, the pretty move off glass. That's nice. Oh, it's interesting how both teams are now attacking the glass instead of relying on the outside shot. Boone's got a solid game for him. It was a three-point barrage early, but you're getting a, a, a clutch situation. Now you start attacking toward the goal. McCullough spinning. He draws the foul. Mikey Moore. A shot blocker will go for every shot. Mikey Moore will try to block everything. Take it to him. Try to get him in foul trouble. Here's a solid effort by Darnell McCullough, a glass eater in his own right, <laughs> and takes it right in to pick up the foul. And, and finally, a free throw. There we do. The crowd responding as if we parted the Red Sea. Maybe the Red Wave. Well, the red wave hoping to, uh, hoping for a little comeback here and now two out of two i mean that looks good when you when you were seven of 19. absolutely up, up everything's good 51 46 the score the dogs back on the run here's gumby no foul on that play they're letting it go again mikey moore uh, he did deflect it going up, and uh, as I said, he's going to go for every block. He right. may get three or four, right. but he's going to get some fouls, too. Look at Nebraska, though, set their defense. They're getting back much better than they did in the first half. I mean, you see three or four red shirts back right. there. Dominic going to pull up. He's off. Boom, the nice break. Oh, Ooh. Strickland gets up. High flyer. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's get up oh. and finish that one. Strickland in the open court's got seven. Wow. Pretty impressive. He has shown a lot. Not only can he can it from outside, but oh, can he get up. 
KB struggling like Dominic as well. Here's Boone ahead to Strickland. A little replay. Oh, my. Yeah, that might be a quick 20. I think Jerry's yeah. looking 20 or quick timeout. Strickland, powerful in his own right. And what Nebraska's doing is releasing early. They're saying, look, we're going to rebound it. Strickland's going the other way and getting an easy score. They're just running so well in transition. And really, when you're a freelance team, this is what you do best. Big time player, big time player, Dan. Well, talk about a confidence boost and momentum now for the Big Red. I mean, they're they're really moving and grooving here in Fresno. Time for the dogs now to regroup. Still plenty of time, Warren. Run your offense, keep your composure, continue to try to get the ball down low and execute your offense. You, get, you have a tremendous amount of time to get back in this game. Herdenga way short. 55-46 right now, the score. Dogs trail. Lou in traffic. Kicks it out to Mikey Moore. My, my, Dan. They're doing everything right. Well, we thought this was a terrific finishing team. They were rattled in the first half. They turned the ball over. But Mikey Moore now with 13. And Lou, look at the pass and the finish by Moore. Big fella has 13. And Nebraska right now is cruising 57-46. You know, the dogs love buzzer beaters, though. 15 of FSU's 32 games this year have been decided by seven points or less. The dogs a perfect 6-0 in one-point contest, then. So, if they are to come back, which I know many Red Wavers hope, it looks like they can pull it out. Yeah, it does. Uh, and Jerry Tarkanian and the fans here hoping that uh, they can get in that situation. Boy, it's amazing. In the first 15 minutes of the game, you wondered if Nebraska could make a game of it. Well, in the last 10, uh, the Cornhuskers have been unbelievable. Now, Fresno State trying to get back in. Mikey Moore, an important guy in this game. The eight rebounds, the block shots, the 13 points, very effective and a big-time finisher inside. And then, as you said, the defense has stepped up for Nebraska. They're looking so tough now. Yeah, they really are. And the thing is, Orin, they haven't turned the ball over. No. And look, and, look, oh. and they're creating turnovers. Is this the same team that had 17 turnovers in the first 15 minutes? Unbelievable. Nice play. Dominic looking inside to Rasan. Couldn't quite find the handle. Oh, it was a beautiful pass. I mean, the pass was perfect. And, and here Rasan just could not take the roll and in. Just had an, an, an unfortunate roll. And now Rasan gets to the line and tries to shoot a couple of free throws. the tip drill in practice the other day and it's something they work on all the time and it's something that this team as good as these centers are struggles now you have to have uh, good hands around the goal and finishing it you know. and, and that situation was a bit unlucky of course the soft fit of not a good free throw shooter but not a good time to, to miss your free throws and again this fuels the offense a, a team like nebraska now says to themselves hey they still can't make any free throws we're going to go ahead and play with a little more confidence it's an 11-point Nebraska lead. But Fresno looking to cut into it. On the run, the pass from Rasan behind Kendrick. They're rattled right now. Now, the one thing Rasan has to do, I'm sure he was looking to give it up to, to, to Dominic Young, but Dominic was behind him. And that's the time you have to slow it down a bit. It's hard to blame Rasan. He's trying to make something happen. Everything is raining. Everything is working right now. Jerron Boone, That's 11 it. points. That's it, Jerron with the rainbow J. It's hard to believe. I mean, this is a 14 count, 14 point lead. Big Mac. They need anything. That's the beginning. But Nebraska right back at him. They missed it. The dogs are so explosive, though. And, and that's the thing their fans know. They're never out of it. Well, now they're going to have to look, baby. They'll look for some threes, but still plenty of time. you got 13 minutes. They're doing a nice job on Dominic Young. Lou is uh, trying to play young. Turdenga from way out. 
He has the ability to shoot, though. Well, well here, here's what's unfolding in this game. They may get an intentional foul on, on one of the Fresno State players. Uh, it looked like Steve Wilson came up with the intentional not playing the ball. And if so, it'll be two and out of bounds. His fourth. Kendrick Brooks is fourth. Second. Now, Warren, what, what has unfolded in this game is that Nebraska has defended Brooks and Young well in the last 10 minutes, and they forced other players to shoot the ball, and they haven't really been able to get it down. Coupled with the fact that Fresno State not shooting well from the line, and, and Nebraska really up-tempoing their game and finishing inside, and Nebraska just on a roll. You know, this is a team that wins at Colorado State. I, I want to tell you, Colorado State's an impressive team. Something Fresno State could not do was win at Colorado State. And, and then be to find Washington State team. And I thought Washington State, now with uh, Hendrickson back playing, it's a tough ball for them. Dominic now on the run, working on Louvre, the pull-up. He's got it! He's got him! Well, they needed that. Oh, do they need that? Yeah, and Dominic needs to get going. I mean, he's at 19, but it's a deceptive 19 because he got off to such a hot start with three straight threes. Nebraska, the lead cut to 11. No, Dan, there's no question this Nebraska team is very talented. They started off so well. They had some internal problems. And that was part of the reason for their nine-game losing streak. Kendrick Brooks. Picking up the foul, and that is fifth then. That's huge. That, yeah, of course, Kendrick with the intentional foul, and when you're behind, a lot of people say, well, why is Kendrick in the game? Well, the fact of the matter is, you're down 10, you're inside of 13 minutes, Jerry wanted to keep his best guys on the floor, right. and then Brooks picks up the foul over the back. It's a gamble. Well, other guys have to step up, that's the answer. Well, they do, but but they do it. At the, the only way you do is at the defensive end. Strickland again, 63-50. Strickland with 11. Much like Nebraska is playing well. Unfortunately, this is a different bowl team than we saw. Well, and, and it's a team that uh, is hurt now with the fact that Brooks has fouled out, so they, they miss some outside shooting, and, and they haven't really been able to get people open on the perimeter. Oh, here's Strickland. you got to like Strickland. He's a guy that can pass the ball, a lefty, but he dribbles with his right, going to the right, and then finishes with the left hand. So he's a guy that you really can't overplay to the left side like a lot of left-handers. But I've been impressed with Nebraska's composure, their outside game, their ability to, uh, to really react to the different defenses. Fans, you know they want this. They want to go to New York. The winner goes to New York, will play the two-lane green wave, the red wave, hoping it happens in timeout. I think that dog a little sick. And the biggest bulldog of them all, Jerry Tarkanian, he knows his team could pull it out, but Dominic, I think, needs to start heating up. Well, they're running Dominic on the baseline. They're going to try to run him around the screen and see if they can There he is. Free. Oh. Well, that's, see, that's Strickland again, putting pressure on the outside on Gray. Plays him tight. And because of the pressure on the outside, not a good pass. So Nebraska doing it with good defense. you, you got to tip your hat to Nebraska. They had a chance to fold in this game. They didn't win. Mikey. Well, now, you, now if you're in Nebraska, you try to dictate the tempo and put it down low and force the dogs to defend you around the goal. That time, a little bump push. But see, I don't think Nebraska's going to be content to just shoot it on the outside. They're going to take it in. Gumby now leading the charge. Rasan inside. Big and 11 point game. Right. First score of the game for Rasan. He's got eight rebounds, but his first deuce. 
Came at an opportune time. Maybe give his team a little lift. Sterling would be nice to have a little bit more from him, and maybe that'll be the difference. The crowd's starting to come alive again. They don't need much in this building. When it's rocking, one of the toughest displays to play, but oh, they keep rocking and rolling. Magnificent pass. That Vincent time. Hamilton, his 10th point. Oh, what, what a pass, though, by Strickland. I mean, he, he, the ball barely touched his hands, and he was able to rifle it inside. Strickland all over Gumby. This guy has really stepped it up. We talk about how Dominic dominated early. Strickland and Mikey Moore have looked great in the second. Oh, get up. Oh, Max. Climb the ladder. Donnell McCullough just skying and corralling that rebound and refusing to be denied, taking it in and drawing the foul. He is a Skywalker. Oh, he is. He's, he's, a, he's a tremendous leaper. And what I like, he's got a terrific work ethic. You know, here's, here's a young guy that, that was starting, was benched, came in off the bench, didn't complain. All he did was increase his game. He started to get better when he was coming in off the bench and has really given this team a big lift. Says he likes coming off the bench. It gives him an opportunity to scout out the team, to see where he fits in the game. Fresno State's John Hamilton. John may have been a better free throw shooter. There are not many John Hamilton's rolling around. 65-50, no. for your score. 10.45 to go, Nebraska in charge. Strickland again. Oh, Hamilton again. And even against the zone, Nebraska not content to shoot the outside shot. Hamilton has 12, and, and another solid effort to break the defense. It's been Strickland with the ball. Strickland is just penetrating and finding people. Hamilton even dropped the ball and still made the play. Gumby wide open. He's got it! A high archer for Gumby! His ninth point. 67-57, it's a 10-point game, just under 10 to go. Dog certainly within striking range. Well, the problem too, are you can't trade baskets. You, you have to make some stops. Right. And we'll be back from Selen Arena. Cornhuskers in control. Selen Arena, where Nebraska looking so strong, Dan. Yeah, what, what a pass inside Strickland to Hamilton. And that's what the one thing Strickland's been doing. He's finding the open guy and, and breaking down to deep. Here he goes on to dribble, giving it up again to Hamilton. He, as you said, even dropped the ball and still able to finish. So good effort by both players in Nebraska handling the ball effectively. Mike, what did Tark have to say during that break? Coming out, he's going to start the Amoeba defense, then go man-to-man, -man, and then after man-to-man, -man, he's going to go full-court pressure. On offense, he wants to run a passing game, and he wants to make the run right now. This is the time. That's what he's telling his players. Well, with just under 10 to go, now would be the time. Unfortunately, you can't stop Strickland, and they can't contain him either. As Strickland got off to a slow start, he's got 13. Here's the biggest statistic of the game. Nebraska with one turnover in the second half. Dominic Young, 22 points. But as you said, a point, a deceptive 22. Still plenty of time, but he got nine minutes. Been there for 35. <laughs> there you go. They may need him to score 40. This Nebraska team had 17 turnovers in the first 15 minutes. Now they have made one turnover since then. That's why they're playing well. The dogs not able to force turnovers that they did early in the game. One of our keys was composure, and they have it now. Dogs starting to create on that amoeba. And I think Dominic Young could take Waldo. They have to look for him. They made his right. last three. See if they can run a screen and execute. See if you can run him off the screen. Here he comes, at the top of the key. They're going to go with Mac inside. Why not? Why not? He can do it. Big Mac, 15. 
15 points. So strong down low. And the fact is that Mikey Moore is out of the game. So good time to attack the goal. Pornhub's going to look for a timeout. And, and now only a seven-point game. Nebraska going to talk it over for 20 seconds. Just like that, a seven-point game. Danny Knee obviously concerned now. And, and, he, and he might look to get Moore back in the game because of this. So you don't really have a shot blocker or a rejecter inside. Fresno State picked up on that. McCullough takes it right to the rack and forces the big guys to defend. They could not. Now a seven-point game. And Fresno State, a little momentum. I mean, are they going to come back again? They've only done it about 15 times this year. And you know if it's close, they will pull it out. The most important factor, and this is one that we talked about beforehand, the crowd. It's starting to come to life again. 69-62, 8.25 to go. Teron Liu with the ball. Dominic defending. And Mikey Moore back in the game for Nebraska. Now Danny Dean knew that it was too easy <laughs> for McCullough on that last sequence. He wanted to see his shot blocker back in there. The big presence. Strickland. The guy is unconscious. Oh, Strickland just taking the game, game points. Easy. Wow, taking it over. And any time that the Cornhuskers need a big goal, Strickland has delivered. I would say he's in his zone now. Well, he's, he certainly is. All right, still, again, time to exit. That's oh, tough. that's all. Oh, that's a tough. That's his shot, though. Yeah, Dominic doesn't make easy threes. I mean, he likes it when guys are hanging all over him. He loves the dramatic flair. A good time out by Nebraska. They came out, scored, made a stop at the defensive end, and now had the ball. Maybe Nebraska, you got to go to Strickland again. You got to let Strickland touch it. Eric Strickland has scored 10 points in the second half. Only five in the first. There's Mikey Moore, the guy he just inserted. Bulldogs with some defensive pressure. That time Strickland's drawn the foul. God, what a big body. Well, that, that's what you like about Strickland, is he can go around the goal and score, too. Here's the pass over the top of the board. And good help from Stamps on the other side. But now the deflection goes right back inside to Strickland, and he just power moves that to the goal and picks up the foul. So looking for his 13th point in the second half. DeAndre Austin coming into the game, giving James Gray a little rest. DeAndre hasn't played in a while for Fresno. It's a tough spot to, to put Austin in. As, as you said, a guy that hasn't played all of a sudden comes into a pressure situation, but it shows you that Jerry Tarkanian and his coaching staff have confidence in Austin. He has had some good games. I remember the Air Force game where he started, uh, responded with, with a big first half. So he has had some spots where he's been able to come in and give this team a lift. They need just that. The Strickland just doesn't miss. Is he going to miss one? 73-62, Nebraska on top. We're at Selwyn. It's the NIT quarterfinals. Tradition. 362, Nebraska over Fresno State. 716 to go. Mike Hill, what do you got for us? I thought Mike was there. I guess he's not Dan. Uh, Mike was listening in to a little timeout, but I thought, maybe, I, I thought maybe Mike was doing some of the coaching. Perfect. Maybe he was in there trying to help out. Is he there? Maybe we got him now. We, we got him now. Mike, Mike, what did Tark have to say? Mike may have been lost in that amoeba. What do you think Tark was well, saying? Well, I think what Tark was saying is, hey, guys, we have to come down now and let's see if we can look for something productive. You see the free throw shooting, 9 of 24 for the Dogs, 12 of 14 for Nebraska. And, you know, there's the ball game, and Nebraska goes to a zone. And that's a good, a good spot really for Austin if he can free up a good perimeter shooter. So is this guy. Not that time. One and out, too. I mean, there's yeah. no opportunities for any second efforts uh, against a very tall, talented Nebraska team. And it's not a question of matching baskets. And this guy right here, they have not been able to stop. So maybe DeAndre Austin could put, a, put some D on it. He did right there. Oh, he, he caused a turnover. Fresh body coming in. Little energy. And that's the first turnover in the second half. Isn't that incredible? First turnover for Nebraska after they made 17 in the first 15 minutes. Inside of Mac. Oh! Layup City. But he was hacked. Going 
vertical, which is not a bad move against the zone. The reason being is when you're in the zone, you're really defending an area of the floor, and many times you can lob it up near the tin if somebody's running the baseline because no one has man-to-man -man responsibility. Well, Tarpio's there in the zone, and that's probably why this guy's checking in, Brandon Bakke. Talk about his own buster. This guy can pop it. Oh, he is. Bakke has to come in for somebody because they got six guys on the floor right now. they got six people on the floor. We know you can't do that. No, you can't. Somebody has to come out. Not even an elite group. Now, now they're really going small. Now you got Bakke, Austin, and Young, and McCulley. You don't, you don't really have a big club in there. That's what, 10 of 26 from the line for Fresno State. All right, you go man-to-man -man in this situation. Boy, Bakke's got a, a, a tough cover. Oh, my. Jerron Boone. Yeah, Boone at 6'6". Six, six. I mean, Boone wants it. You can tell Boone's going to maybe try to clear for Boone, let him handle, see if he can shoot right. it right over Bakke. There he goes. He was moving at will. He just couldn't convert. Here the dogs on the run. He's looking up. Oh! Right idea. too much. Great idea. Yeah, right idea. No finish. Yeah. And, and, you know, big play. You're down 10. I mean, you need to score almost every time down the floor. I think if you're in Nebraska, you go back to Strickland. Strickland has it. Let him let handle. Someone was listening to you because there's the guy, Eric Strickland. Dogs back in that man-to-man. -man. And that's a tough matchup you're looking at right there. Maki doing all right, though. And look at this turnover. Dominic all the way. Yes, he's got it. Uh, I don't think Nebraska or can get conservative. Looks like to me they're trying to waste some time. There's too much clock left in this game. You have to continue to run your offense. First foul on McCullough. Well, with a little over five minutes to go, it's an eight-point game. 73-65, Dan. Still some time. Oh, there's plenty of time. And, and the thing is, that's why I, I don't think Nebraska, I think Nebraska got too conservative the last couple of times down mm -hmm. the floor. Continue to play, continue to look to score. And, and I think Fresno State, they, they get a stop here and a score, and then it's anybody's game. This is an absolutely big defensive sequence for the dogs. Right they, here. They, yeah, they cannot allow Nebraska a score in this situation. They got a full 35, so I'm sure they're going to try to utilize it. Mikey Moore doesn't do anything but finish strong. Yeah. And, and, and I thought pretty a pretty good pass to get it inside. Nebraska is not relying on their outside game. Whoa, look at the bounce pass to the open hand. Beautiful pass. And then stamped over with the with the foul as Moore was trying to windmill dunk it. For a thin frame, the guy does finish very strong. Plays, plays a tough, powerful game for a skinny guy. Reminds me a lot of Louis Orr that played years in Syracuse. S same type of, of physique as Orr. Hey, you talk about a guy that's got some pro potential. I'm yeah. looking at Mikey Moore. I mean, he's, he's definitely a guy that has a chance to play the next level. Has a nice touch, not on that one. I don't think the Red Wave really minds that, though. This is not a great free throw shooting team, but they shot well uh, this evening. Unfortunately, two dogs, that is the case. Yeah, and Nebraska's only missed a couple of free throws. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to shoot into that crowd, but they've been effective at it so far tonight. Dominic. He has been off. Most of the points he's scored recently have been on penetration. He hasn't been able to find Well, and, and the fact of the matter is there's still plenty of time to shoot twos. And, and right. I think if, you're, if you've got that three-point mindset and you miss, uh, it, you know, it might take everybody else a bit out of the floor. But sure. it's hard not to give Dominic the green light the way he has won games for you late in the year. Live by the three, die by the three, though, huh? 
occasionally. Yeah, occasionally that does happen. Strickland the pull up. He missed. And, and I would not be disappointed, Arn, here if, if, if Fresno just went for a two. I mean, why not? You still have four minutes right. to go. Take, take it in and look for your deuce and try to run your offense and see if you can get something. Therese Stanley hopefully going to give this team a lift. They step oh. on the end line. Always have to know where you are, especially I'm riding that base line. Yeah, Darnell stamps that time yeah. trying to use the baseline and the official race. You saw it, the left foot definitely on the line, a good call. And with Stanley in the game, I see here's a guy that how many minutes has he played in this game? Maybe seven minutes, six, seven minutes? So he really hasn't really had a chance to get in the floor. And I think Karee, looking for the ball, wanting to score, did have some, posi some position inside. Nebraska with 20 turnovers. Don't forget, though, 17 of those turnovers occurred in the first 15 minutes of the game. That's right. I mean, they've been almost perfect from that point on. Having Korea in the game may be a positive to stop Mike Moore. I think it's a better matchup oh, yeah. than anybody else in here for, for Fresno State. You can put a body on him. Dominic playing some solid D. Wall pulling the trigger. No. Well, Mikey Moore may have pushed off. He did. He said, sure, I did. big call because that's the fourth personal foul on Mikey Moore and this is not the same club without him in the game so uh, although at this point you cannot just throw it inside because you're down but still Mikey Moore is not going to be quite as aggressive with the fourth foul and we'll be back from Selen 74 65 328 to go score 328 to go then still plenty of time in this game and I'm sure they're gonna try to look free coming out of this timeout. Well, this is the money time. Yeah, it's money time for sure. And, and if and you're talking about money, here's a guy you're gonna be looking for, and that's Dominic Young. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to maybe start Dominic, put him on the baseline, run a screen. Right now they got Baki on the baseline, but this, this is the money time of the game. And you know, the dogs are unbeaten when leading or tied with five minutes to go in regulation. Unfortunately, that right now. Dogs inbounding. There's Dominic trying to create something. And man-to-man -man by Nebraska. They switch the defense when they put Bakke in the game. They go now man-to-man -to, -man to get out of the zone. Now I thought they see they're going to get the fifth foul on Therese Stanley. Stanley moved on the screen. Wall ran right into it. But if the screen is moving and the defender hits it, it's a foul on the screener. That, that's, a, that's an absolutely monster call. And again, I, Stanley only played again six minutes of this game. The screen has to be set. There's Stanley sitting. Does he move? He moves a little bit to the right. Not a whole lot. Not, I didn't think it was a, an absolute, definite, sure lock type foul, but the official standing there, fifth foul on Stanley, he leaves with only a couple of points. Not much production offensively from Rasan Smith and Therese Stanley in terms of points. They played hard, but they really didn't score much around the goal. Mikey Moore creating a lot of those problems. Converts again. 76 65, 315 to go, Dan. And, uh, ooh, Brandon, yeah, you're in trouble right now. And, and, and Wall, the guy, I mean, you don't want to put him on the line. I mean, if there's anybody you want to fight, he looks like he can make 50 in a row. So, and, and, and he, I don't, he has not made 50 in a row, but he has done many, <laughs> many a, a spectacular thing down the stretch. There's Dominic. They start him low, going to pop him out. And, and now you're in a three point mold, good mentality. You got to look, you got to look, hope to maybe knock one or two down and put some pressure on Nebraska. Nothing is impossible when you have Dominic Young on your team. Now, Teron Lewis has stayed out of foul trouble in the second half. He's done a good job. See, again, they play good defense on Dominic. They force another guy to shoot it. Well, now he's going to handle it. He's going to try to get this one up. That's a two. That's good. 76-66, 67. Dominic, 25 points, 232 to go. It looks like Dominic tweaked his knee when he came down. He's holding his shin on the way back. So it's a nine-point game, 220 to go. And if you're Nebraska, I just run the clock and give it to Strickland in the last 15 seconds. Let him do something with it. 
Lou said I can handle it, but this is not a good matchup for him. Boone. Oh. Although it worked out well. It's he only a suggestion. 13 <laughs> points for the big guard. Yeah, Lou said, I'll show that to Oh. Garner, full strip. Well, Garner had teammates wide open, but I thought wisely decided to withhold the ball. They don't need any more points. They need clock to run. You're gonna have to look the foul now. Huh? I'm like they, I'm like the way they're playing early on. Nebraska now doing everything right. Strickland, oh, no. I think Dominic's just hurt. I mean, he, yeah. can, he can hardly run. One and a half to go, Domo. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, he, he just Dom just down. grimacing. Yeah, I think the last time down the floor, uh, Lou recognized the fact that Dominic was hurting, took it right to the goal. He may have just cramped up. Trainer Ed Ferreira down there working with him. 125 to go. Nebraska 78-67. And we'll be back from Soda Arena after this. Booyah! Bottom! What? Look that up in the dictionary. Who's bad? Who's bad? Youch! Sports with an attitude. Baby, what a catch. Bye bye It's gone! Sports the way it ought to be. String music, baby. Incredible. Shake your booty. Ooh. Give him six. Booyah! The real rocker. Orrin Winnick and Mike Hill. Nothing but the dog and May. Bow wow, he's got it! The perfect combination for sports coverage you can count on. Thinking of changing your business bank? Well, think about this. Switch to Valleywide Bank now and get the best in local business banking services. Valleywide Bank has the lending power to serve all sizes and types of local businesses and agribusiness. Decisions on your loans are made in local Valleywide branches. Valleywide's personal bankers are committed to your business success. Switch your business banking today. Valleywide Bank! Back at Selwyn Arena, Mike Hill, what's going on? Hey, in the, in the timeout right now, Dominic Young is being rubbed down. He's suffering from leg cramps, but he will go back in the game. He's in excruciating pain. Tark is talking to him, telling him to run the offense. This is it, do or die situation. Back to you, fellas. All right, guys. It certainly is. 125 to go. 78-67, Nebraska. And there's Dominic grimacing. Anyone who's ever played a, a sport knows what a... A cramp in the calf is all about. Look at it, it's right there. Oh, that's tough. And Dominic, uh, but, you know, he's a courageous, uh, fearless competitor. Back on the floor. Look at the numbers on Dominic. He's got 25. They need a quick score. That's a quick score. And a quick foul. Yeah, you got to take a foul now. You, you got to foul. Him. No. McCullough Too with much eight. time. Yeah, McCullough's got 18. Is that a nice game? Got to foul. 103 to go, 78-69. Dan, wouldn't they have to foul someone? Well, you're trying, they're trying to right yeah. now. They're not calling. Got to go for the ball and take a foul. The <laughs> official just let them go. 52 seconds to go now. It's a situation where you're trying to foul and, and the officials are, are not calling it. Fresno State down by nine. Lou operating. Garner kicks it back out. Wall for three. He's got it. That's big trouble. Boy, nice play by Garner. I, I thought Garner had the shot in size chance and gave it up. Well, you have to give Nebraska a, a salute. I mean, this is a team that could have folded early. They were down 13, 34, 21, and they came right back. A very tenacious, gutty win, I thought, by Nebraska in a tough place to play. And truthfully, it really epitomizes the season for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. This is a team that had so many troubles, so many problems. They started started strong. They had some internal strife. They even tried to mutiny on their coach. They lost nine in a row, but somehow rallied down into the stretch. They're playing their best ball right now. Yeah, they really are. And, and they started out 15-4, and, and and as you said, they were playing well. Then all of a sudden, Danny said, you know, we lost nine games in a row. We lost two or three in overtime. And we just couldn't get out of the funk that we were in. But to their credit, they've rebounded. They're playing, well, maybe the best basketball of the year. You know, they went at Colorado State. They beat Washington State, a good team. 
and now they've come back and win at Fresno State, which is which is very strong. Now, this is not to diminish the year Fresno State has had. This team has had an absolutely sensational season. This is a team that has overachieved. It's a team that really did not, you did not think early that this was a club that could win 20 games, and I thought still they were the best team in the WAC at the end of the year, and they've had an absolutely marvelous season, and the coaching staff and the players should be commended. Dan, all you have to do is look at this arena. Sold out. Sold out tonight. Sold out the previous round. Sold out the round before that. Sold out ten times this year. Jerry Tarkanian has created magic. He has brought basketball back to the Valley. And that's something these people will thank him for forever. Yeah, and the fact of the matter is it's just starting. I mean, yeah. this is a, this is a... This is the beginning. Yeah, it's a beginning. It's a program that's going to get better and better. Nice follow. Yeah. Some of these players will be part of a nucleus next year of a bunch of great All-American All-Stars. That's it. 83-71, your final. The first year for Jerry Tarkanian as head coach of Fresno State is over. Yes, it is a loss, but what an incredible ride. What an incredible ride. 83-71, your final disappointing way to end then well it's disappointing but you know you have to look at the bright side i mean what a magnificent marvelous year uh, it was and and there's jerry right in the middle and this is a lot this is the classy guy that he is he's talking to the nebraska players congratulating them and he knows what an effort they put forth they were behind they could have really uh folded the tent and they did it here's jerry and he's over congratulating the nebraska guys which which shows me a lot not only congratulating he's signing he's signing their shoe yeah, I mean, jerry tarkanian is such a basketball icon that after these guys beat his team they're asking for his autograph yeah that, that really says something i don't think i've ever seen that happen before maybe we can get to mike hill mike is, is trying to get right in the middle of all of that he's trying to get to jerry so let's uh, let's go right. Mike. Mike, what do you have for us? Coach, tough game. This is a disappointing loss. Uh, we started off so well. You know, we got into fall trouble. We missed a lot of free throws, and, and they were a great ball club. They just played really well. Were you surprised at how they were able to maintain their position? They're a uh, composure after you guys put on that great game. Yeah, they, they, they played great. They really did. Uh, we, we played really great for about 12 minutes, and then, you know, we just got into fall trouble and started missing free throws, and we lost all of our, we lost everything then. All right, Clark, great season, great season. Guys, disappointing loss, but hey, Clark's the class act. Fresno State basketball is back in the house. I'll give it back to you. 371 the final from Selen. We'll be back with more after this. We've begun to set records that Fresno can be proud of for a change. More than 100 new police officers on our streets are making a difference. Success is never final, but now we know it is possible to trim government, make it work better for us without raising taxes. With your help, I'll continue to hire more police officers, fight graffiti, add jobs, and streamline city government even further. Jim Patterson for a safe, proud Fresno. The human heart. White, please. Sometimes it gives us courage. Six of pro in this, thanks. Sometimes the strength to endure. But sometimes it breaks. And when it does, one Valley Hospital has had more experience repairing it than any other. Going to be a happy family. Very happy. This is the Empty Branch Jail at Carruthers. This jail can hold 400 dangerous juveniles. But today, it stands deserted and empty. Supervisor Doug Vagum stubbornly refuses to open this jail as a juvenile boot camp. This year, Doug Vagum voted no to our boot camp at this site. Vagum's vote keeps this 400-bed jail closed down. Now it's your turn to vote. Let's open the jail and close Vagum down. Your vote for Juan Arambula is a vote to open the jail. Your will 
fall into the darkness of winter. So why go out now? Because the Toyota Spring Rush is on. If you rush into your dealer, you can see Toyota's classy flagship Avalon. And while everyone else is in hibernation, get a great value on a new Camry. I'm talking best car built in America. And when you drive one home, you can save big bucks. But hurry, they'll be gone before the snow melts. Brand new Toyotas, special Camry values to boot. Wow, what a rush. Mike Hill, Weekend Sports. Coverage you can count on. Welcome back. A quiet, quiet Solent Arena. Disappointed Solent Arena. The fans, most of them have filed out already. 83-71, the final. The Bulldogs finishing on the other side. And uh, it really has been an amazing ride for Jerry Tarkani and the Bulldogs. And unfortunately, sometimes the dream has to come to an end, Dan. Yeah, it, sometimes it does. But I, I don't think when you reflect on the year and, and you talk to the players in the locker room, they're going to be too upset over the fact that they've had such, a, such a, a bad finish but a terrific season. I mean, they played a real fine team tonight in Nebraska, a team that rebounded, controlled the ball, limited their turnovers, and really got into the flow. This game completely changed when, when really Fresno State could not make their free throws. It took the momentum away from the dogs. It gave it to them. You saw Nebraska feed on it. All of a sudden oh, yeah. they said, you know, we can win this game. And when you give a team that's behind by 13 points a feeling that they can win, all of a sudden their game elevates. And that's exactly what happened. Not only did they feed off free throws, it allowed Eric Strickland to all of a sudden come to life. And it also allowed Mikey Moore to do some damage. Check out some final stats for this game. There you go. 29 of 56 field goals. The Bulldogs 27 of 65. The Huskers shot 52% from the field. The Bulldogs not quite as strong. Uh, 17 of 20 free throws. The Bulldogs 10 of 26. And as we've said, that, Dan, the big story. Yeah, you could just uh, look at that stat, forget the rest of them. And the bench play was, was effective because Danny Nee really couldn't find a combination early. And some guys came off the bench to play exceedingly well, I thought, for Nebraska. But if you go 10 of 26, and don't forget, a lot of those were front ends, front ends of one and one you really got some problems. I thought if the dogs made their free throws early in this game, they could have built a 15 to 20 point lead. This thing might have been over at halftime, but that wasn't the case. And you look at the bench too. I mean, the dogs uh, as, uh, and uh, the Huskers, when you compare them, uh, so deep, so deep with this Husker team. Well, they've had good production off the bench, and it, it's not unusual for guys to come in for this team. Uh, Luke got in foul trouble early, and uh, Wald, uh, you know, he's a guy that came right in and did a nice job. Strickland came up big the second half, or he did not do much in the first half. I thought Mikey Moore solid all around game. Look how many guys were in you, double You saw figures. some pro potential in that guy. I, I thought so. And, and look at Hamilton. Here's a guy that, that played real well. Uh, Benson Bad Hamilton. Bad Badgett off the bench. A lot of bench players were, were right in double numbers. Now, Dominic on the other side did score 25, a deceptive 25. It's a 25 he would have given up for a victory. You know that. Well, what happened with Dominic Young, don't forget he was three out of his first three. He had nine points early. And I think Dominic's at his best when he's, when he's not called upon to handle a ball and score. I mean, if Dominic allows the game to flow to him, he's certainly in much better shape. But they needed him to try to score, and he went into a bit of a shooting slump and couldn't get some threes down. All right, 83-71, once again the final. We'll be back with more from Selen after this. Winning way to end the season. Uh, it is the end, but really the beginning of something special.